see the shipping, meaning the shipments of, you know, anything, food, clothing, is being shipped overseas, right? Of course, governments already said that. Here you have uh, factories, you know, uh, all that, that type of crazy stuff. They have the power over that, you know. And this is what they do. They have the power over that. Alright, so going back to over here. Wait, a few more examples. That's why when you see the Agents of Shield, this uh, animation, no, not uh, not anime, well, a movie. You have this guy named Hive, and he is the head of their Hitler little camp thing, you know. That's why they say Hail Hydra, which goes back to, of course, Red Skull, which is Nazi and stuff like that. The head of it. Uh, one of the heads. Uh, to be something like that. One of the heads. And then you have this guy, Hive. And you also have this movie, Pirates of the Caribbean. You have aliens with the octopus thing. And they always come to take over the world or just to kill people. So it says here. This is Hive. This is one of his quotes in the movie. A series, actually. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1. The world fears our kind of power because not everybody has it. That's something that the elites would say. And this is just word for word their words in the script of the movie. Series, actually. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Only billionaires can build iron suits. Only the military can make super soldiers which can only lead to a war of its own. Whereas I plan to apply a more uh, collective, collective, collectivist philosophy. Collectivist philosophy, what, what, what's she gonna do? He's gonna monopolize the world because he's gonna collect everything under one banner and then everybody needs to basically bow to their will. There's no more wars in his mind because war is a division. <laughs> the Most High is going to set. He's setting up a division between you devils. So you can't stop that. But their mind, their mind, according to them, they want to have a collective, whatever, man. They, they just want to collect everything and put it all under their umbrella. So it says here, uh, let me see. High followers had then founded a secret society with the sole purpose of finally bringing Hive back onto the earth in order to conquer it. In this movie, he's some kind of dead guy, and then he takes the corpses of dead people and stuff like that. You can read the rest for yourself, but yeah. Basically, this is what they want. They want to conquer the earth with Hive as their boss. Over these centuries, that society evolved into Hydra. Nowadays, it's called the so-called Illuminati. But this is the Hail Hydra thing. Which goes into the Nazi SMS stuff like that. Nazi. But it says eventually Hive possessed. Wait, wait, wait. Anyway, anyway. I'm going to read this. Centuries of killing. Centuries of killing. Centuries of killing. The thing that has been killed. Huh? What? The thing that has been killing everyone that's come through here for centuries. That's exactly what these Edomites have been doing. <laughs> Along. Have people known about the monolith? And why keep sending people when there's no way back? That's why when you put your hand one time to their cause, you can't turn back, man. It's as if they're being sacrificed. Put your hand and sell your soul to these Edomites, these rich banking oil families. See what happens to you. Eventually. You know what I'm saying? Go in the swimming pool with them. Rub, rub elbows with them. Everybody ends up dead. You know, so I'm going to put that link in the description box. You should go watch, well not should, but you can go watch this series. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I think it's on Netflix. Season 1. I watch them all. Because there's a lot of information what they're doing behind the scenes. You see a lot of CIA tricks that they're doing. If you're, like, you're, you're actually doing that. I know you're doing that because where did you get the idea to actually put that in the movie? You know, but the tentacles go back to this guy, this oil baron, John D. Rockefeller. 
So it says, and they also all often talk highly about the intelligence of a fucking squid. Check this out, octopus, whatever the hell. This is a squid. This is an octopus, whatever. The octopus, upon finding one bad shrimp in the lot, he grabbed it, escaped his tank, crossed the hall, and threw the expired shrimp as uh, at its caretaker. Not only does this showcase their problem-solving capabilities, but also that it could have escaped at any time. It just broke out this time to chuck on, <clears throat> to chuck an off shrimp in indication at its handler. That's not just intelligence. That's a human-like reaction. Kind of makes you wonder exactly how smart these guys can be. Octopus are super smart and they're definitely going to take over the world. Who the fuck believes that? Well, now you know what they're talking about with their little cold talk. The Standard Oil Company, a.k.a. the Octopus, was built by who? John D. Rockefeller, the son of Devil Bill. Now you know what they're talking about when they see the, when you see these little stupid remarks. What the fuck? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I was be I was I was like what what are you talking about man? But then again I would I would shrug it off like oh this even must be stupid. No they're not. <laughs> World domination by Tuesday. How suburban geeks intend to take our minds, take over our minds. Suburban geeks. Yeah, they're kind of nerdy, but they're very smart. And they're proud with that too. You have a difference between smart and wise. Well, wise to the evil is not wise at all. Smart is not, you're not, the, you, you are, until you, you, ain't, you ain't that good. Because a wise man, a real wise man, would know not to steal or mess with a kingpin. Yeah, you're smarter than them. You can trick them. And, oh, yeah, hey, would you borrow me this? I'll give you that money back. And then you disappear. Okay, cool, okay. Now you got to run for the rest of your life. If they catch you, you're dead. Well, that's what they did with the Heavenly Father. They think they can run from the Heavenly Father. <laughs> Funny people. Funny Edomite. Nothing is beyond our reach. Curious kids. Could octopus evolve until they take over the world and travel to space? You see? They're talking about themselves. Because their, their tentacles spread throughout the entire earth. And they have basically the monopoly over the entire earth. And therefore, they want to go to other countries, planets, and then they want to take over the world. The real menace of our republic is the invisible government. The one that hide behind the secret uh, things. The secret, secret council. Which, like a slimy octopus, sprawls its slimy legs over our cities, states, and nation. Yeah, that's what you deserve, devil. Remember that. Because if they didn't do it, you would do it. Typical devils. That's why you have octopus on the moon. They never went to the moon. You have octopuses in space. You know, building rockets and stuff like that. And all these type of things. Now you know why they reference the octopus so much. Because what they're doing is they're, they're glorifying their dead ancestors. You know, they're glorifying them. So let me read the rest. John's technique were more sophisticated than that than his father's. Call it the fuck out of here. But not necessarily more ethical. A black suited devil of... Ostentatious. I don't even know what this word means, man. Can't even pronounce it. Ostentatious. Ostentatious. Characterized by pretentious or showing display design to impress. He's faking it. Uh, rec Rectitude. Rectitude. Morally correct behavior or thinking. He's faking it. Because he has such a bad name that he started to actually give him, give people pennies through the media. pennies he started to give people how much uh, yeah dimes it wasn't pennies it was dimes Rockefeller than any other community let me see from year from years Rockefeller 
across the Hudson by the neck to the work ferry for the ride for rides in the hills back okay for what? oh yeah, yeah okay uh, back to his village on the trip over he passed out dimes and frequently when the ferry boats docked at Nyak, uh, Nyak, uh, I don't know, Nyak, uh, children gathered at the slip to seek dimes. So, what he was doing is he was using the media, because I saw another documentary, how he was using the media in order to get a good name, you know? Because Bill Gates, he didn't have a good name in the media at first. <laughs> the drained fact check comes to come check it. Right. Whatever, dude. I ain't talking about that right now. You know what? That's not even what I typed in. But uh, the media didn't like him in the beginning. And after that, he turned into the beloved uh, nerdy guy that for Microsoft... In the beginning, they hated his guts. I also have a documentary about that. But anyway, so it says here, basically they faking it. You know, they using, using the media to get a good name. They 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 totally they totally messed up the search engine of Google because back in the days I could just find a lot of things like just like that man, but now we're getting at the end of Esau's society. So hey, it's not a wonder that he would do that. It's something that you know, if you think about it, you'd be like, yeah, yeah you're kind of right for doing that because you don't want to be exposed. Why would you want to be exposed? You will do anything in your power not to be exposed, right? So yeah, hey. Him hiding the words and hiding the truth that's a, that, that that exposes him. Hey, hey, hey! It's just something that he needs to do, right? John blanched at his flamboyant father's bigamy, determined to hide his father's sins for the reputation's sake. In 1881, he bought the old man a ranch in North Dakota, far from nosy reporters. I wonder why. Why would you do that, right? In 1889, when Eliza Rockefeller died, John floated the false, check this out, the falsehood that his mother had been a widow. There goes that information again, you know, that deceiving information. And he used the media because, hey, he, he busted up rumors, right? And then everybody started to believe it. But Devil Bill was still alive and tricking. He was tricking people. He'd occasionally appear unannounced at one or another of John's residence <laughs> to entertain the grandkids by shooting his rifle, playing the fiddle, and telling wild stories. Visiting in 1902, Devil Bill, 92 years old, asthmatic, nearly blind, took delight in embarrassing his son. Here comes Johnny, he announced to a group of guests. I suppose he is a good baptist, whatever, dude. But look out how you trade with him. Yeah, because you taught him. When he started telling dirty jokes, that's 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 uh, considered to be dirty. <laughs> Maybe you're making sort of my jokes, I don't know. John tried to slip away, but his father grabbed him and forced, him to bl forced the blushing billionaire to listen. In 1906, as Devil Bill lay dying in the Fort or Freeport, Illinois, home, he sometimes shared with his wife, Margaret, the old man had a mysterious visitor who arrived in town by private rail car. The caller would let, sorry, would enter Bill's room only when nobody else was present. Two years after Devil Bill died, the New York World printed the story John D. Rockefeller had been hiding for decades, headlined, Secret Double Life of Rockefeller's Father Revealed by the World. The article recounted lurid tales. What? Lurid. Unpleasant, bright, and color, okay. Messed up tales. Truth. No, it was truth. What the fuck? These people are devils. 
especially so as to create a harsh or unnatural effect. But these things were true. Anyway, of Bill's adultery, bigamy, quackery, and scenery. Scenery. So what? Chicanery. Chicanery. The use of deception <laughs> or subterfuge to achieve one's purpose. That is exactly. Is e and who do you see? You see pictures of Edomites, man. <laughs> this gives a whole new meaning to the saying. When you see when you see the, the in the dictionary, you see the word chicanery. You should put the picture of, of an Edomite right beside it, man, looking at you like he done did no wrong. <laughs> that that look on his face is like shit. He got me. Let me let me try and play it off. I didn't do anything. John D. Rockefeller declined to comment. Of course he's going to shut up. That's how you get away with uh, talking. If you don't talk to a person about something, eventually the, the story is going to lay down and nobody's going to actually really pick it up commercially no more. That's why you see this pizza game. <laughs> Look at what they're going to show you here. <laughs> Has been debunked. It's not real. Quit talking about it. You know, it's funny. It's, it's, that's what they're talking about. It's a conspiracy. This is real. It's real. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. So, yeah, man. The, 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 these Edomites is funny as hell. But here you can uh, again see the standard oil. As you can see, it's like this thing over here. Standard oil. This thing over here is a. Yeah, is a is an internet with all these chains, with all these hands, these paws, these tentacles wrapped up in electricity, wrapped up in money, which is insurance money, wrapped up in small oils and stuff like that, even small oil businesses, wrapped up in transportation, you know, wrapped up in uh, of course the banking system, saving banks. And what is this gas? This is gas because it says here gas, the gas, you know wrapped up in uh, factories and industry, wrapped up in shipments, you know, shipments, shipping things, goods, wrapped up in governments, and of course, wrapped up in the individual's lives of the average individual people. The monster monopoly, he has it all, and he had it back then. How much more now? That's why they can step out of the oil business, because they don't need the money. They want to control is different. They have more than I could wish for. And still they want more. They want your life. That's why they want to actually chip people. You know? But yeah, let me finish up these scriptures and then I'm done. It took longer than I actually wanted. Wanted to make a half an hour. But as you can see, it didn't work. So it says here. So he deceived all nations with his sorcery and his his, 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 his intelligence. And he's going to deceive the people that are going to take the mark. And um, he shall go out to deceive the nations. Yes, and he did. He did it again. Right? What's here? I'll put this in the description box. See, yeah, no more oil business, not for the Rothschild, for the Rockefellers. I'll put this in the description box also because they stepped out of it in uh, 2016. <clears throat> that doesn't mean that they don't have no power within it, they just publicly step out. Don't, don't trust the goddamn devil, man. They, they, these are the type of people that say that spread rumors that their father died. <laughs> using the media to push that uh, lie. If the media talks about it, it must be true. Mm -hmm. Yep. I believe everything you say on the television. Right. So, let me see. I already read this, so yeah. I don't need to read this. Make it to...
Yeah, I set it up anyway, so let me just read it. So it says here, Micah chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it, because it is in the power of their hands. <clears throat> and it is in the power of their hands. <clears throat> and they covet fields and take them by violence, and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. And you need to check out the... Um, John D. What they was doing, they were sterilizing people. And the history for Rockefeller and the history of eugenics, they were sterilizing people. The Rockefeller has launched an internal investigation to discover more details about it. Really? You gonna go to a you gonna go to a snake to actually round up some snakes? <laughs> Who supported the eugenic movement? The eugenic movement took root in the United States in the early 1900s. Let's buy Charles. Yeah, whatever. Doing between the Rockefeller and racial, racial what? Racial what? It's a PDF. I saw it. I saw it. It says it, says, it said it right there. Basically, they hit the race. See, I told you it's a PDF. I don't want it. Oh, I'll put it in the description box, so uh, if you if you if you would like, you know, then uh, I'll put this link. Then I think it was this link, right? Or what, what was the? I'll find it. I'll find it. It's it, it's some somewhere around here. Mm, let me let me do it again. Actually, this then. Oh no. I'll find it, I'll find it. But yeah, let me go on. Now it says, uh, they was busy with eugenics. And what they was doing is, they was trying to, for example, this story. The forgotten lesson of the American eugenic movement. Right. Now remember this little female, because they uh, um, sterilized her. They sterilized her. And they was calling people like uh, the feeble-minded breed, feeble-minded. We pay the cost. That's why they say sustainable energy. Because the sustainable energy, they are talking about that they're the ones that want to have everything for themselves. Not the rest of the world. The population bomb threatens the peace of the world. So what are you going to do? What are what what are we doing about it? Killing people. Wars, you know. The food, the 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 the, the, the fast food and all that stuff, but everybody knows that fast food ain't good for you. And yet the governments are allowing these things <clears throat> to pass on. Cigarettes, everybody knows it ain't good for you. Is a leading cause of uh, one of the leading causes of cancer. But they just allow it. Because this is the plan. There's too many people. According to them. This is one of the reasons why the Heavenly Father is going to do away with the house of Esau. If you only knew the shit that these people are doing. That's why the Most High said. I am angry with the wicked day, uh, every day. The Most High is angry with the wicked every day. You don't know what they're doing. You have no idea. Therefore, Micah 2 and 3. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, behold, against this family do I devise an evil, from which ye shall not remove your necks. You're not getting away with this, Esau. Now, this is for the wicked Israelites, but this applies to the Edomites too, especially nowadays. Neither shall ye go haughtily, proud, for this time is evil. Evil shall come upon you. In that day shall one take up a parable against you, and lament with a doleful lamentation, and say, We be utterly spoiled. He had changed the portion of my people. How had he removed it from me? Turning away, he had divided our fields. This is exactly how the Rothschilds took over the world. Rockefellers. And stuff like that. This is how they took over the world. This is literally what they did. Therefore, so because you did this, shalt 
have none. Thou shalt have none that shall cast a cord, which is stability. And also, wait, wait, let me read on. By lot in the congregation of the Lord. Micah, oh, sorry. Joshua chapter 23, verse 4. Behold, I have divided unto you by lot these nations that remain to be an inheritance for your tribes. From Jordan, with all the nations that I have cut off, even unto the great sea, westward. Joshua 18.10 And Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before Yahweh to get the dividends of the lands and stuff like that. And there Joshua divided the land unto the children of Israel according to their divisions. So, therefore thou shalt have none that shall cast a cord by lot in the congregation of the Lord. As you can see, this is actually talking about the Israelites, the wicked Israelites. But until this day, the whole Lord actually did do that. That's why you have two-thirds of the nation of Israel that the Most High cast you off. They will not cast a cord by lot, meaning they will not inherit the land. Just like the 40 years in the wilderness, never none of them cast a cord of stability, a rope. None of them. Only two, Joshua and Caleb, and the children, of course, you know. But of the old... None of them came into the world, the new world, which is the promised land. Actually, the promised land, I should say, not the new world. The promised land, right? So I wanted to say the new land, actually, which is the land of Israel, right? So, yeah, it's about the, uh, having a inheritance. And the Lord took that away from us because the majority of our people, until this day, they're not going to be cast, they're not, they're not going to have a cord, what is a cord? It goes into the inheritance of the family, but a cord is this, you know, which goes into the stability of the people, right? It says six, prophesy ye not, say they to them that prophesy. That's why the, the Lord is going to actually take away your inheritance and you're going to die. They shall not prophesy to them that they shall not make, sorry, that they shall not take shame because they don't want to hear the truth. It's a shameful thing for a Sodomite to hear that he's a, he's a, he's a, against the Most High, Al Basham Yashai, and, and you got demons on you, according to the Bible. But in the end, the Israelites will make it, all of them, including the Sodomites, but only after death. Because it says here, also the horse and sluts and stuff like that. Isaiah 4 and 4, When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion, and shall have purged the blood of Jerusalem from the midst thereof by the spirit of judgment and by the spirit of burning. Right. So you're going to get what you deserve. And after that, the Lord shall have washed away all the blood and the filth of the daughters of Zion. Isaiah 45 and 17. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. So, we're not going to be ashamed in the end because the Lord is going to wash away all our sins. From thus saith Yahweh that created the heavens, Yahweh himself that formed the earth and made it, he had established it. He created it not in vain. He formed it to be inhabited. So when people like these devils are saying, oh, it's too many people on earth. We need to kill all. A lot of, uh, it's a new movement. What's the new movement? And um, This is actually what they're fucking doing, man. Want to fight climate change? Have fewer children. These are the things uh, climate change is making people think twice about about what? About using the products that you say is causing climate change? No. Climate change. Fuck off. Climate change is making people think twice about having children. Huh? What the what has that to do with climate change? It doesn't even exist. I don't believe is Caucasian culture. I don't believe in that shit. Neither do I believe in flying fucking reindeers. So it says here, want to fight climate change? Have fewer children. This is what they're telling you. Of course, you see three little white babies. 
that's great next best action are selling your car so that you're now reliable on the government transportation avoiding flights like you're stuck in one place and going vegetarian you're not gonna be strong enough to fight a person that's on meat well not all the time but most of the time Yeah, I wanted to actually show an example of the vegan bodies compared to actually normal people bodies and stuff like that, like people that eat normal. But anyway, it's not to say that a vegan person is bad because the book of doing Daniel speaks about veganism, but we eat meat because the scripture shows you that if you want to, you need to keep the Passover, by the way, then you need, you are required, you are ordered and commanded to eat lamb's meat at least one day of the year. And I think other 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 uh, feast days have meat in it too, but I'm not 100% sure anymore. Not anymore. I'm not 100% sure. I need to re-read re, re, re that and recheck that. But the Passover, we are required to eat lamb and or goat. So both or one of them. On the Passover, it says it explicitly. So this shows you that you shouldn't eat bread because you're going to get fat. But this is not necessarily fat, you know, it's a chick with hips and stuff like that. You know, they both look good. But you have fat people like this. Okay, that's bad. You know, this is not necessarily bad, but not this shape. But you're unhealthy in there because of the byproducts that are in these foods. That is actually what's making you messed up. But then again, the vegan food. It's also orchestrated by the same devils that give you this food. And they put the pesticides in there. So, you get more pesticides in your system than you would want and think. But anyway. So yeah, so according to study into true impacts of different green lifestyle choices. Right. So, they're telling you to actually, what is this? They're telling you to actually do what they say. 